Hey everyone, in this video I'll be covering how to integrate my asset, the combat component, with the advanced locomotion system. Step 1, open up the ALS character base blueprint and add the component. Open up my character blueprint, copy the inputs, and connect them to the correct spots. When you compile, you're going to get these errors. Just disconnect the zoom camera in and out. I haven't taken the time to figure out how to keep these mechanics, so uh, I apologize. Step two, open the ALS skeleton and my asset skeleton. Show asset details for both and set compatible skeletons for each other. This is going to allow them to share animations. Then copy all the sockets from my character skeleton, click on the ALS's root and paste them in. Then in the ALS animation blueprint, add the combat interface. Then in the anim graph, drag combat link and plug it in here. Compile, click on the purple node and set the instance class to combat ABP and check these boxes. Double click on the combat link, connect input to output. And lastly, Click on the combat component in our ALS character base and set use external locomotion to true, blocking flips yaw to true, use body rotation to false, and foot IK to false. Use external locomotion does exactly that. We're using ALS's locomotion logic instead of the combat component. We're also turning off body rotation while aiming because ALS already has aiming in it. And we're disabling foot IK because ALS also has that. So my asset actually comes with pre-made ALS weapons, which really are just invisible weapons so that you can use the ones that ALS comes with. So in your ALS weapon blueprint, you want to search for BPI set overlay state for the ALS character BPI and search get attach parent actor for the object reference. Under event equipped, we're going to set the state to rifle and copy these nodes. Open the parent weapon blueprint and under unequipped, set the overlay to default. In this instance, I have the rifle blueprint open, so that's why I put rifle here. In the pistol, I'm gonna put pistol and you can choose which pistol overlay you want to use, one or two. The very last thing to do is to open the main weapon blueprints and for the interaction ring, IK spheres, and basically anything that has collisions, you want to set the status for climbable to ignore. If you see the setting grayed out, just change the dropdown to custom and then change it. Changing the custom leaves everything else the same and allows you to modify the settings from the current state. Do the same for BP throw location and BP hand IK. If you don't do this step, you won't be able to climb anything because all of these things will be blocking the player's mantling logic. And if you're finding that some inputs aren't working, it's more than likely being blocked by ALS. To fix it, navigate to the player controller and here's what I do. I select all these nodes here and cut and paste them. That'll disconnect them so that you're not getting these inputs to be used any longer. Also, I drag past this add to viewport so that the ALS widget is no longer on screen. The main reason inputs would be blocked though is because if you click on these event pins under details, consume input and override parent binding is set to true. This basically just eats up that specific input from being executed anywhere else. So if you didn't want to cut and paste so that you could keep the ALS logic, you'd simply uncheck those boxes. But yeah, now you can use the default ALS weapons and use its locomotion. Plus, you could even go to first person mode. And that's all I got. I hope you all found this helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Late.